Uh, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you. In my presentation, I would like to talk about modern radiotherapy and introduction of uh, uh, radiotherapy in a routine practice and benefit of this treatment in terms uh, of oncological effects. I'd like to talk about statistics. Every, uh, more than 18 million new cases of cancer are diagnosed uh, yearly. 50% need radiotherapy. Using this data, our clinic decided to establish two linear accelerators in the department. Uh, and uh, uh, this is variant Rubimic company. Uh, uh, these uh, uh, devices are technically equivalent. It's a great advantage for each uh, unit because there is no risk of discontinuation of treatment. If there is a technical issue with one type of equipment, so without any interruptions, we can uh, test and treat patients using other uh, devices. So the use of such equipment implies modern methods of planning, and uh, I won't uh, talk in detail. This is 3D conformal, uh, uh, VMAT, and so on. Before each fraction, we use IGRT technique so that the position of the patient would be in line with the plane with a precision up to one millimeter. And you see that our uh, patient before each fraction, that is uh, kitty plant and CBCT. We use, uh, when radiating left breast, we use the method of hold breath, breath hold, and uh, DIBH. When patient makes deep in inspiration, lungs are filled with air, and uh, heart is separated from the radiated field. You see there is free breathing, there is deep inspiration, there is a radiation. It's good. In terms of avoiding toxicity to heart, it's important to register images because at city planning, it's quite often that it's impossible to identify this target structure. That's why we use registration with MRI, SPECT, and it is clearly visible with these patients. First MRI and then PET. Modern technologies give us a chance to perform treatment and to achieve the results that I would like to share with you. This is our patient, 28-year-old patient. She complained about headaches in, and uh, numbing in the right uh, upper limb. MRI was made and MRI showed lesions in the stem of the brain so it was impossible to verify what sort of uh, lesion it was radiologically they diagnosed her with malignant tumor uh, we used radical method gave uh, 50 for gray after two months of treatment you see the result. It's a very short time, but uh, we also opened quite recently, uh, so please don't be too critical. Uh, if there is any advice, I will accept this advice with great pleasure. Uh, second patient, uh, this is an advanced process in the cervix. Uh, locally advanced uh, process in the cervix which 
invaded the posterior walls of the bladder and, uh, and there was obstruction of ureter. In the first step, we inserted nephrostome on the left. On the right, there was nephrostent installed, and we started to treat basing on radical program with chemo radiotherapy and then added uh, uh, the dose uh, with brachytherapy on parameter and cervix and in five days we received the following result uh, the next patient this is a very interesting case I would like to know your opinion. This patient uh, first uh, in retroperitoneal uh, region there was a tumor that was laparoscopically uh, removed. There was histology of uh, endometrium and they diagnosed her with adenocarcinoma. After that they made curettage of uh, the uterus and there was adenocarcinoma. They made hysterectomy me with lymph dissection and uh, started chemotherapy. After six courses of chemotherapy, uh, a small pelvis showed enlargement on lymph nodes, and this patient was sent to us for radiation. Uh, at the plant, uh, plant city, we found this uh, lesion, and uh, we insisted that she would go through PET CT. PET CT showed accumulation in DG and uh, uptake in this situation. So uh, there was metastasis. She uh, refused from any uh, surgeries. Um, she was strictly against that. We were discussing that with Maya. Maya is our expert. And if something uh, well doubtful, we discussed that with Maya. We decided to irradiate uh, this lesion uh, locally. 50 gray uh, were given. Uh, 25 fractions and, uh, and the course of treatment was without complications. This result is after three months so we made PET CT after that uh, in, uh, so there is nothing after three months there is no uh, FDG isotope uh, accumulation. Uh, this is Kaposche sarcoma and uh, very often such cases uh, take happen and uh, I don't know. Uh, it's uh, it's interesting. How often do you have a Kaposche sarcoma? This is after radiation. Five months have uh, passed, and this is the result we're having. And and the last case is uh, also very interesting. This patient had. Uh, developed a lesion on the skin of the head. Uh, this uh, lesion was growing. Then in 2018, surgeons decided to operate on her. Post factum, they registered mixed form of uh, uh, cellular lymphoma with the prevalence of T cells. We insisted that chemotherapy would be performed by chemotherapists did not uh, well, take this patient because uh, somatically uh, he was in a severe condition. Uh, there was great weight loss, fatigue, and uh, uh, severe pain. And uh, we decided to start radiotherapy. That was before treatment. This is during treatment. And in the end of treatment, we received uh, this kind of result. And this is photo 10 months afterwards. Now he is under follow-up uh, of oncochematologists. And, uh, <coughs> <laughs> they are treating him with low doses of chemotherapy. Still, 
We think it's a good result in this situation. In the end, I would like to say that uh, in the end of this year, we plan to install PET CT and uh, age uh, device for radio surgery in order to improve our, uh, the work of our department and uh, uh, provide full service of treatment in our department for oncological patients. I'm very happy that I'm here. Thank you so much. Thank you for excellent presentation. Questions. My question concerns the last patient, lymphoma of uh, uh, the hair part of the head. What sort of dose was and the mode of radiation? No, not electron. No electron. That was arc therapy. We uh, uh, planned. Uh, I will come back to this slide if possible. I would like to go through the slides. I will quickly show you. We gave 36 gray because, as you see, that was close to the eyes, with to the orbits. You see the deformation. You see what was happening. So that's why you gave such volume. Only with photons, 36 gray, and we received such result of arc therapy. So first radio, then chemotherapy. We know that we had to start with chemotherapy, but uh, uh, it was that condition of the patient that uh, no one wanted to take up that case. More questions? Uh, so, your institute is called Center of Surgery. Is it oncological center or private institution? Unfortunately, Georgia doesn't have such center. Now we are trying to to arrange a center where there would be not only radiotherapy, but clinical oncology, on uh, surgery invasive, uh, small invasive uh, techniques, because uh, we are trying to create that. Fortunately, our founder is uh, uh, is not sparing money f well, for novelties. Competition is quite high in Georgia. That's why we buy H uh, pet CT so that uh, because other clinics also have good equipment. Georgia is developing in favor of medical tourism as well. Uh, how many radiotherapeutic units are there in uh, Tbilisi? Three units and as to linear accelerators, seven. So there is no oncological center where the where Costa Margetishvili, David Gersadze used to work. Costa works separately. He has his own accelerator. So now there are different clinics. This is a private enterprise. Everything is private. No, Mike. But patients are not paying for treatment. 
all medicine is private. Um, there is insurance system, competition is uh, growing. Who takes decision about type of treatment, irrespective of fraction, uh, prices, standard, and patient will pay some additional money. It's a, an excellent presentation. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to ask you who exercise control over standards of treatment over treatment. There are a lot of private clinics, so every clinic may do whatever it might want. Is there any supervising uh, organizations or ministry or standards of treatment? Uh, yeah, uh, very good question. It's regulated by with the Ministry of uh, they have their own experts, but I don't believe them. I don't confine in them. We have very good stuff. When we started, uh, when we were buying the equipment, for example, in May in Spain, uh, I uh, was teaching, I was learning in Spain a year and a half. My colleague they have the, the his PhD has PhD in physics and uh, he educated in the USA. And now we in our team people are real enthusiasm enthusiasts. We don't have the problems in this respect. Everything is happening under the higher qualitative level. We have a clinical oncologist, and these patients, they are, are followed up by clinical, clinical oncologists. Uh, we established a database. Uh, your presentation stood emotions. You started your presentation with the beautiful Tbilisi. Uh, uh, Georgia accepted 7 million of tourists, and the majority of them are from Russia. Uh, I'm inviting you. I'm inviting you to Georgia.